There are mountains of rocks from the mining operations back in the day. Just massive piles. I don't know what they were casting away or why. I want to take a closer look at these and see what kind of materials in it, just real quick. So we're on a, a series of trails and stuff through the, the area. There's hundreds of acres you can explore and you can chisel away and find fossils. This is literally just crushed gravel. I wish I could take a few dump truck loads home. It's all, this is fine crushed gravel for like driveway material. Up there is coarser material, back up in there. Interesting. The girls are running and excitedly jumping. It's hot out and there's a beautiful little creek. Oh, fresh water. It's hot, it's really hot. We're just about to somewhere here. Um, so we'll, oh, there's a stream. Okay. Interesting. There's where it's flowing from. It opens up here. It looks like it's all underwater. And there's the quarry. We're going to go check that out in a few minutes. I hope the voice works out here because the wind is so brutal. Is there fish? fish. Little fishies. That means we could fish in here. A little bit of refreshing water. A little bit of a stream. Just testing my camera. I'm full on in wind. I wonder if it works. I've never been in hard wind like this. I'd be curious to see if you can hear me. That's quite a bit of water. And there's fish in there. So I can't wait to see what the source of this is. Purge? I think so. Really? There. Where? It's gonna go. Oh. You see it? Oh, that's a bass. That's a bass? That's a bass swimming that way. Wow. I don't know. It's has some stripe in the middle. I, I can't wait to find out what this is coming from. There's another. That's a uh, bass. Yeah, there's minnows and everything in here. Interesting. Where does this come from? This is what cement is made of right here, guys. Crushed, uh, mostly limestone and fossils. We're starting to find fossils now. There's more water over there. Here's a big opening. I want to see what's over here. Well, that's it, guys. That's, there's no outlet. This goes up to here and across and where we rinsed our feet and goes on out into the uh, lake. What are we on? Here on. That's it, it's just a little pond, a pool. I don't know if there's any bigger fish in here. It sure wouldn't uh, survive a freeze in winter. That's a few feet deep in the middle, but I don't think it would survive the freeze. That's it. There's bass in there. Well, here, guys, is an example of what I'm looking for. There's a beautiful piece of coral right there. That's a nice chunk right there. Look at that, you can even see in the middle, the center of it. Now we're getting into where all the fossils are. Here's a, I mean, there's coral all over here. This is all coral. Beautiful chunks of coral. You know what that stuff costs at the pet shop? In the fish store? There's another little piece, not as nice. This is all fossils here. There's a shell. This whole area is just pure fossils. I, I find it sad. I mean, I know it's a, there's so much. The whole land is just all fossils. But I find it sort of sad that they crushed this to make cement. Um, again, it's an industry, it has to be, but um, all these fossils, there's just so much. What is that? Is that natural or is that something from a person? Look at that, that is cool. What is that? 
I'm going to put that in a special pocket. Look at that. I've never had something like that before. It's a perfect, perfect round little thing. Little button. That is special. I'm putting that in, a, in my camera bag. No idea what that is, but it's so perfect. So perfect. Perfectly round. To find something like that here in this random mass. So, I mean, the whole land is fossils here. Everything. It's just a matter of finding good specimens like these. That's pretty decent in my book. We might find better. See, there's little chunks. Just everywhere you set your eyes, there's there's coral. And the weather and the nature has worn it out. There's a shell. Nature has worn it out to... Uh, to expose it. Here's another piece of a shell. There's there's just so much. I think that was a piece of shell. There's so much in here. There's tiny fragments of fossils and everything. Here's another shell. I don't know if that shows up as well. It's not a good specimen. There's another little piece of coral. Look at that. Just amazing out here. Another stream. There's a lake over there. I want to look at that later. We're in the middle of it. A huge rock quarry. That's the lake or the stream we were looking at. I didn't get very far. The girls are looking for fossils. What I don't get is what were they looking for that they left such piles of waste and gravel and then dug out areas and it's if anybody knows what the reason for all the why they left so much behind and all the mountains of rocks out there I'd love to know why what were they specifically looking for here's a nice chunk of coral in here look at that here if I, this is just pure fossils you can see you can see the level settling on the ocean floor this is so beautiful look at this just layers and layers look at all the, the different stuff in there I hope that shows up in camera look at all the different things in there did it fall into the ocean floor and fossilize Look here, I mean, it's just, it's just millions of pieces of, of dead animals. Look at this. This rock, I think I'm gonna get a photo of this because look at all the layers. I really hope that shows on camera. All the different fossils in this, just loaded. Like I said, this is fossil heaven here. Oops, I'm off screen, I'm sorry. I can't see. It's so bright in here. I can't wait to see it at home how it turns out. There's a there's a longer piece. There's just all kinds of tiny little creatures in here. Just thick. You can see the layers and layers and layers from the ocean floor. You walk a little ways and you find something different. Look at this. There's these formations of iron and I'm not sure what this is look at that the veins running through that Daddy. these look at that some kind of an iron ore I believe but look at that how the the gray walk rock has weathered away exposing the veins look at that this is thick through here these looks like some kind of an iron deposit but the rocks there's these veins like that all through I can't find any right now there's there's a, a fossil a coral there it's it's all filled with these veins that's a perfect example right there though what I'm seeing all over in this area you go a few feet and you find a whole new and different environment I uh, just passed an area full of shale just flat black shale 
Um, there's coal, it looks like, mixed in all through here, too. It's a pretty interesting place here. It's gonna take us, we're gonna have to come back. It's gonna take us days to go through this place. There's some more of those orange veins. A lot of iron in here. Look at those veins. Isn't that interesting? Here's another amazing sedimentary rock. Just layers and layers that settled on the ocean floor and you can just see all the different creatures. Just loaded with all the different creatures that fell down. Thousands of years of sediment. And then there's layers that peel off. Well, look here. Here's one. There's a layer was on top. Look. There's the red veins in there. There's coral. There's just so many pieces of things that died and settled. I might keep that piece. Look, there's just... This rock is, is fragmenting. As it was created and formed, it is settling in the opposite way and fragmenting over time from where... Look at, look at that. Look at those, how many there are. Along with pieces of iron. Makes you just wonder what put that all together like that. That's incredible. There's just layers in here. Eee, wasp. Happy I got rid of that, he landed right on me. Look, it's just fragmenting over time. You can just pick up pieces. Over time, it'll expose all those fossils and they'll be laying here free to pick up for, some, for somebody to pick up. Look at that. It's just amazing out here. It's just incredible. We're gonna have to come back. Look at that. We're just walking along Everywhere we go, there's fossils. There, that's what I'm looking for. Look at this. Look at that piece. There's even different colors in that. Different minerals makes up that. We're just walking on fossils. Just everywhere you go, it's all fossils. This is, I keep saying it, but this is a fossil collector's dream. Here's more shale. Melanie's using the hammer heavily out here. It's just, you could spend days and days and days. Look at the iron deposits. Different minerals. Look at that. There's different Ponds. I want to go see that pond over there, and eventually I want to see the big lake go for farther over. It looks like there's a lake over there. Oh, neat. Let me get up there, Michelle. Let's find my zoom. Look at that. Look at the layers on that. Look at that. All the stuff in there. Look at how many. Just amazing. I mean, I love fossils. I grew up with fossils, so if you don't like fossils, this is not the video for you. But if you love fossils, this is this is a dream here. That's just masses of sediment from the ocean floor right there. All of that. It's just incredible. There's You actually have to pick and choose. There's so many billions and billions of fossils. That's all sediment. This whole area. They've gouged row after row after row of grooves in here. It's weird. And then you get these mountains and a, a, a trench, long trench full of fish. I don't know how the fish got in here. I want to go see that massive body of water over there. There's a huge body of water where the girls are going. But just row after row after row of these gouged out areas. If anybody's familiar with how they mined here, I'd love to know the history of it. Look at this, guys. Wow. 
this is the mother load right here. Look at that. That's incredible. That's just a mother load of fossils. There's no way it could ever take all that home. It's just packed. Look at this, just one section. How many pieces of coral? Beautiful pieces of coral are laying in here. Look at that. Just amazing. This whole area here is all, this was all one flat chunk you can tell see there's the there's the top surface here's another piece this was all one level so that we're almost at the ground level original ground level look there's another look at that that's just amazing how loaded it is look at how many different pieces in there It's incredible how many pieces. Look at that. It's just, look at this. It's just packed. Somebody's been chipping away at this one. There's more of those red veins in here. No idea what that is. Sorry, I'm zoomed. These veins, and there's chunks of iron in here. Look at that. Looks like it could be rusty sandstone, actually. There's some more of those veins. There's another. No idea what that is, all that down in the bottom. But people have been, definitely been chiseling away at this one. We have to come back another day. This here is just, just the mother load right here. Look at that. What, fish? fish the other side. Cool. All right, let me see if I can see him. I'll come back for my camera, my camera bag and stuff. Little, oh, it's pretty. Look at all the fish. Where do they come from? That's bass. There's a bass in there. How do they get here? There's no inlet to this. This is loaded with fish. Loaded. There's just all kinds of fish. I don't, don't know if you can see them all. All kinds of fish swimming in there. There's babies. Okay, I think that's bass. It looks like a bass. little whole different world down here it's a whole world in here well our goal for the day we made it over here it's pretty deep actually in the middle is there any fish? Yeah, there's fish in there. It drops off. It drops off. So there's bass in here. I have no idea what they're feeding on. I've seen a lot of bass and some kind of minnow. So there's the natural rock wall, untouched, way over there. I can't see my camera because of the sun, so I'll have to look at this later at home and see if you can see what I'm looking at. The natural rock wall, they cut pretty deep, you can see. Yeah, I thought that was what we had at home. There's the natural rock wall. It's interesting what they were cutting for here and how much they left behind and why. Well, we got to call it a day unless I find something else. It was an interesting trip and we're going to have to come back one day. This was beautiful and amazing. So much to see and explore and find here. It's incredible. But we're thirsty and dehydrated and we got a ways to go home. So we'll talk to you guys later. It's Troy and Melanie and Michelle.
hiding behind her mom. She's hot. You can tell it's hot. <laughs> From the do-it-yourself world and your off-grid project. I hope you like this video. Please do give me a thumbs up, guys, and help boost this channel. Get me back to where I used to be and help make videos like this possible. Talk to you later.